hello long time no see welcome back to the channel i just found some old resolution colorado cleaning gel and i have my brother's very very dirty bong it's been sitting like this for months he gave it to me a few months ago and it's just been like drying out and all of this resin is like crusted on there so let's see how this works on it we're gonna throw some down here and some up here i might even use the whole bag because i kind of feel like it needs it Get as much as I can because obviously the down stem is the grossest so as much as I can get in there is good all right now I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours and we will come back and see how it does I've got the gel pretty much up to like here just below that and then there's some sitting here this middle chamber doesn't have any though so maybe it'll eventually kind of trickle down through the splash guard Oh yeah, it looks like it's slowly starting to. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can really see it, but you can see like little drops just beginning to form in like where the little slits in the splash guard are. So hopefully that just drips down the walls. Very dirty. <laughs> um, wait, let's take a hit together. My kitchen is very messy right now. <laughs> I have Trader Joe bags. I don't know if you can even see them. Trader Joe bags are all over the floor. Did a good old $200 Trader Joe's trip today. I filmed a little haul for my Sasha Lee YouTube channel, which is kind of where my YouTube content lives these days. I really want to film, actually, maybe this video would be a great place to put it, but I, wa I want to film a Q&A. So maybe leave some questions in the comments of this video that I can come back to and pull for a future video. But I would love to do a Q&A that is specifically about how my relationship with cannabis has changed over the last few years, specifically how I smoke a lot less and how that wasn't a decision that I made. It just kind of happens naturally while like listening to my body and how I feel when I am smoking, how much I'm smoking, stuff like that. I think it's a big reason why I don't film as much cannabis YouTube content. I simply don't have the tolerance that I used to. Oh, I just spit. Did you see that? <laughs> I don't have the tolerance that, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Didn't you see that I was right here? <laughs> I spooked her. Yeah, you don't want to be smelling that. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, my, my tolerance just isn't what it used to be. So it's sometimes a little just cat butt. Now it's Sansa, <laughs> but it can be a little tough to film cannabis content because I will often just get very, very high and then I'm not as functional when I'm very high as I used to. So that's just been a very interesting thing to kind of deal with. I, like I said, I've been posting to my non-cannabis YouTube channel. It just makes sense to post there. When I'm still filming YouTube content, it just doesn't happen to involve weed. It makes sense to post there because obviously this channel is so heavily suppressed from getting deleted and just being a cannabis YouTube channel. I just, I don't have an opportunity to grow here as, as much. I mean, I, I do, you know, there are obviously cannabis YouTube channels out there that are still thriving and whatnot, but I'm just kind of leaning into this season of my life and really enjoying making non-cannabis content. Do you want me to pick you up? Is that what you want? Oh, it is what she wants. Oh, <laughs> I swear sometimes she hears me talking to the camera and then she gets jealous and wants me to talk to her and give her some loving. All right, let, let me go grab a bowl and we can have a hit. You're so cute. Mwah. I love you. Oh. My two favorite strains right now are Rainbow Belts, which I've been loving for almost a year now. It's probably my favorite strain, but I recently got Gary Payton and I love this strain so much. Love the way it smells, tastes, feels. It's just good stuff. And these are the new hand pipes from MJ Arsenal, which I'm so happy about because I honestly have also been smoking way less bongs. I very, very rarely hit bongs, especially big ones. Usually it's just like a small little one, which MJ Arsenal does have some good small water pipes, but most of the time I'm smoking hand pipes. So I'm very, very happy that they have a line of hand pipes. I think this one's called the Perch, but cheers.
I do still love the small water pipes though, small bongs. Sometimes I like condition myself to say water pipes because it's a more social media friendly term than bongs, but they're bongs, they're bongs. Actually, wait, I just got an MJ Arsenal package. So like I said, they put out a hand pipe line, they put out a bubbler line, and then they just dropped some chillums as well. Let's do the reef color. I think it's like a nice dark teal. Ooh, nice. See, these are perfect for traveling. Like if I stay at a friend's house or an Airbnb where I'm not smoking inside, this is perfect. Cute. I don't know how well you can see. Can you hear that water? You probably can, but I don't know how well you can see the color. It's a really, really cute teal. I used to use chillums a lot to um, finish off blunts. I gotta tidy up a little bit and then we'll catch up when this has sat for a little while. noise isn't too bad but I just cleaned four hand pipes and I have one hit left in this I actually just took a hit in my story I'll post the video right here so you can see it that way I didn't leave you out but there's one hit left and I'm gonna clean this one and then I think just about all of my hand pipes are clean which is very very nice I also cleaned which are an easy clean the top of my Carta um, my e-rig electronic rig but I don't even know, that's a tiny hit. I'm actually vlogging for my Sasha Lee YouTube channel today. I did a Trader Joe's haul, I'm gonna make dinner, um, just a little day in the life sort of thing. So if you're interested in watching that, wait, I may have said earlier, I'm gonna have the Sasha Lee channel linked down below. I also stream like five, sometimes six days a week over on Twitch. My username is Sasha Hippie on Twitch. Most, I feel like most nights I stream at like 8 p.m., but on Thursdays I stream at 11 a.m. and it's all Eastern time, but I'm usually seshing on the Twitch streams and it's a nice community. So I highly suggest checking it out and joining in on a live stream if it fits with your schedule. They're really, really fun. It's awesome getting to talk like instantaneously with people. Um, it's awesome connecting with people via like DMs and comments on videos and whatnot, but there's something special about like having a comment pop up and instantly responding it. And you just had like, I don't know, an in real time conversation with someone, which is cool. But um, all right, let me empty this. And then this will be our last one to clean. Oop. This one was actually fairly easy because it's still a pretty new pipe. So the stuff wasn't like super glued on there. Just a little bit like right beneath where the hole of the bowl is. It was a little bit stuck on. Otherwise, that was easy. One more little tiny bit of alcohol. Oh, <laughs> so much for tiny bit. <laughs> um, give it a little shake. All right, one more rinse. Nice and clean. I love amber colored glass. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I've been procrastinating and <laughs> cleaning those pieces for so long. I can't believe I just cleaned five pipes. And like, especially the Graf Sherlock. I don't know if I showed that on screen or not, but that one has <laughs> had some weed, like chunks of just ashy, resiny weed, like big old chunks in there. So. That one took the longest, but I'm happy that we did it. And all my pieces look so beautiful now. I need to reorganize a lot of my weed stuff. I really wanna get, I just gotta figure out, I feel like I should get rid of the rocking chair downstairs and put a shelf there. But that's just really sad to think about because that's my Nana's rocking chair. But maybe, do you wanna say hi? Maybe I could find somewhere to store it or something, I don't know. Hi. This is kind of unlike her. Oh, <laughs> her little paws on my arm. 
What a cute girl. I'm gonna see if there are any more pieces that I can grab to clean. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> okay, I did find two more things. One thing I can't show you because that piece actually isn't like publicly announced yet. And then this one that's like barely dirty, but we'll give it a clean anyways. I feel like there's a possibility the AC is gonna be really loud in the background of this video. I should have just turned it off and turned the one on the other room on. There's a few pieces on the little down stem in the center. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. Nice and clean. Whenever I put my phone down, and I've, I've definitely said this multiple times in the vlogs, but I'll, if I'm filming on my phone, I just like don't think about which way I'm putting it down. So sometimes the camera's on this side and sometimes it's on that side. And I'm just constantly looking back and forth, not sure where to look. All right, last thing to do. Um, I mean, that's gonna be nasty. Ooh, the sludge that's gonna come out of that. I don't even know the correct way to dispose of that because that's a lot. That's a real lot. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm gonna open this bag up and try to get it in here. I think that's the move. Alrighty, let's see how. I feel like it's better to hold it. Okay, we gotta do some scraping now because the rest of that is just on the sides. I think I'm just gonna sacrifice one of these. These two are like intertwined together. Okay. I'm turning that off now. That'll be so much better. All right, I think I used this to like reach something one time. I don't know. But yeah, this is gonna be a one-time use. Try to get a couple uses out of stuff like this, but you can only do so much when this is what you're dealing with. Ooh, okay, okay. Look at the back of that. I barely did like any shaking. Whoa. All right, I gotta figure out this part. Like, do I get like a dabber and try, like a metal dabber and try to physically scrape it? I don't even know if this is gonna reach down far enough. Mm, it doesn't really do much. I don't think it's long enough. All right, there's a break in the ring back here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm trying to start scraping near that because I feel like it'll be easier to break it off. Let's... And then I'm gonna let that sit. I need to start dinner, so. Yeah. Oh, I got a little. Oh, and I got paid deeply enough by the team. Oh, nice. All right, y'all, I got most of it off, but there's still a big chunk in the front, so I guess I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer. Hi, it's the next day. I just showered and did skincare, so I'm just keeping my hair off my face right now. But we almost have the little spot off of this bong, and I let it sit overnight. So let's see if we can scrape off that last piece. <gasps> oh my god, that was just, ah, we got it all! Oh my god, that was amazing. We're throwing this right away. All right, now I just gotta empty this and give it another little rinse with alcohol, and then I'll give it back to my brother. Oh, my sink needs a good scrubbing from all the glass I was cleaning in here yesterday. Oh my God. All right, here goes nothing. All right, let's do hot water and then another um, ISO bath. Actually, there's definitely still some stuff on the walls of this top part, so I'm gonna use scrubber duckies on that. So this is the little magnetic duck. We're gonna throw it in there. And then I'm also gonna pour a little bit of ISO on top. Ooh. We can do this along the walls. Wow. All right, we have a little bit
bit of alcohol in here. I don't know how well you can see, but there, it's definitely not perfect. There's specifically one little area right here that I tried the scrubber duckies and this thingy and I just couldn't get it off. But I think I'm just gonna call it there because compared to what it looked like at the beginning, this is like unreal. My brother's gonna be stoked. <laughs> so let's empty this out. Give it one final rinse with hot water and then rinse it out with cold water. Wow, very impressive. All right, let me take a picture to send to him and then I'm gonna take one more hit and we'll end off this video. Hi. Oh, sweet girl. She loves you guys. I feel like she never wants to say hi to the Sasha Lee vlog, but she's like, silence tippy, those are my people. You wanna play, huh? definitely wants to play i love you oh look how cute her little face is oh my god i love you so much mm. wait do you guys want to go outside with me the lighting's way better in here but whoa i christened i think this one's called the kettle from mj arsenal i christened it on stream last night oh it's actually warming up all right i'm gonna stick you to my grill with my Octo Buddy. Well, it was very fun to film something for this channel. I appreciate anyone that's taken the time to watch it. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I'll have my Twitch channel and my, <laughs> I'll have my Twitch channel and my non-weedy YouTube channel, the Sasha Lee one, links down below if you do want to follow along. No pressure, of course. Like I completely understand that some people just like, YouTube is their preferred platform, or if you found me for weed and you just prefer the cannabis content, like that's what I was literally looking over there thinking the camera lens was there, but it's over here. But um, that's okay too. Niches exist for a reason. And if you're interested in following along more of my personal life, great, there's a place for that. And if not, you know, I'm still on the Sounds Tippy Instagram and I'll pop on here from time to time to give you updates. The cicadas are getting loud. Okay, cheers. nice. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Stay high. Bye.